Yeah, the green light. <laughs>my channel so today's video if you already read the title it's just gonna be a what's in my bag video i'm an old school girl i'm from old school youtube and this is the type of stuff i like to see so i'm making a video about what's in my current purse um and also what my current purse is so before i get started y'all already know what to do Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And also, hit me up on all of my social medias at Hannah Burnell W. That cup is juice. Actually, I'm going to move this cup up here. This is... I got the whole carton. The berry punch from Minnie Mae in the carton. Top tier. So today's video is a what's in my purse video. I have always wanted to film one of these. Um, I used to watch What's In My Bag videos all the time during the early 2000s when YouTube was just first getting popping. Well, early 2010s when YouTube was really just getting popping. So let's get into it. Y'all already know. This is my Telfar bag. I had it in the color tan and I got it during the uh, rainbow thing that Telfar was doing. Um, this is the medium bag. I believe the mediums start at like the low 200s. I don't know. I think it was like 202 or something like that. I, I don't know. I'm unsure. But this is the bag. And there really isn't a lot of stuff in here. I don't have a purse organizer. So that is part of my problem with if feeling like things are all over the place. But we're just going to run through it, okay? So this is a pretty big bag, right? Um, I got this bag in October. Well, it was shipped to me in October and I use it as an airport bag almost immediately because of, um, I had to go out of town. I had to go to DC in October, last October. So I used it as an airport bag. Um, and I was thinking that maybe I would get a large and use it as an airport bag, but honestly, like this bag was the perfect size for an airport bag. And I had nothing in the bag back then. Like it was literally just like my keys or something like that. So we're gonna go through the bag. First of all, I'm gonna pull out just like whatever comes out first. Um, the first thing that I got is my Sarah wallet. Y'all, my freaking shirt just unzipped. <laughs> Uno momento, poor before. Okay. So the first thing I pulled out is the Sarah, is my Sarah wallet. It's a Louis Vuitton wallet. It has um, all of these compartments like this in here. Yes, I got some money in there, y'all. Some cash. Something I have not had on me since literally October. I haven't had cash on me. Um, so yeah, it's the Sarah wallet. I got it from the brand Bad Girl. There's already a video up about this if you want more details about this wallet and the brand Bad Girl, which is just, which is luxury consignment. Um, the next thing I have in here is my little makeup pouch. It's also Louis Vuitton. And I also pulled out everything that was in here in my brand bag girl video. But just in case you didn't see that video, I'm going to go through what I have in this pouch because they are all essentials to me. So the first thing is my hand sanitizer. Yes, it is pink. I don't care what you have to say about it, but this is Touchland Glow Mist. Um, reviving hand sanitizer and this um I guess scent is rose water, which is why it's pink like this. Yeah, so 10 out of 10, highly recommend they sell these at Sephora if you want one. I have a lip gloss by Ari. So this is remedy by Ari in the color pink matter. I don't really wear this color a lot. <laughs> I have worn it, it really is cute, it's very girly, so like I try to save it for like super girly looks but i have it in my makeup bag because it's a cute little go-to lip gloss that kind of goes with everything the next thing i have is this was supposed to be a clear gloss it used to be a clear gloss but it's a kylie jenner gloss and it is in the color bubble and it is a plumping lip gloss it was clear you can't really see because my lights are really bright but it's not clear no more honey it is like a tinted pink from all of the, I do like the same lip combo. So it's tinted pink from 
all of the brown um, and nude lip glosses, little lipsticks or lip liners that I wear. And then the next thing I have is a Too Faced Compact. This is the Too Faced Primed Poreless um, Skin Smoothing Pressed Powder because I know y'all can't see it because of the light, but that's what it looks like. It is also pink and it just comes with the mirror and the powder and then it has a puff at the bottom. This is um, some really good powder, y'all. It doesn't do flashback. It doesn't have flashback in it. it. doesn't have flashback in it. You can take pictures with this and there won't be any flashback. How about that? Um, and it's like, I, I didn't have too much faith in this, but this is a really good press powder, like for on the go. So I highly recommend if you can find these, get a hold of them. I'm not sure if you can get them in the store anymore. I did get this one in the store, but it's been a minute. So, but this is some good press powder, y'all, no cap. The next thing I have in here is um, my NYX lip lingerie gloss in the color honeymoon which i picked up by accident because i was actually trying to get the liquid lipstick honeymoon because i still swear by and live by the nyx lip lingerie um lip products like they're really good but this is a really good gloss too it's like a nice peaky pinky nude kind of gloss um it's also a really good topper but it is thick this is a really thick lip gloss and if that's not what you had on your agenda for today then like I wouldn't recommend but this is a really nice gloss and um it's also a nice little go-to gloss the next thing I have is my Burt's Bees lip chap I actually just bought this like a couple days ago but um it's just some lip chap that I have um nothing special it's in the flavor of watermelon I got it from Walgreens my favorite place to shop the next thing I have is a Remedy by Ari Lip Pencil in the color Souffle. It's just a little lip liner, y'all. Nothing special. Uh, the Ari products are in my Remedy by Ari review or unboxing, I think. It's an unboxing. Um, I have this roller, this dual roller perfume from... um where's this from Victoria's Secrets <laughs> and as you can see I use one side way more than the other I actually went and got the full size version of this perfume right here which is called very sexy now wild palm and I got it in oh they're both called very sexy now but this is the wild palm and this is the the beach the pink one is the beach side and like I don't use it it doesn't smell bad i just it doesn't smell as good as the wild palm and for a long time i could even undo it okay yeah no it smells like a grandma perfume but the wild palm smells good but the beach does not smell as good so to each their own the next thing i have is this la this eyeliner glue pen lash glue pen um i was selling these in my shop in my boutique or whatever I don't know if I'm going to continue to sell these. Um, they're convenient, but like for touch-ups, I don't like these for touch-ups. But I that's what I have my lashes on today. And I feel like if you uh, use this with tweezers and quickly, then it's okay. Um, but if you need to do a touch-up, these are not good for touch-ups. But I do get to kill one bird with two stones, which is putting this on. And I have liner and lash glue all at the same time. So, you know, it's kind of like a preference thing. Um, and then I have a tampon. Oh my gosh. So that's all that I have in here. Um, I use everything that is in here. And uh, no matter what purse I have, these things are always in the bag that I'm carrying. Well, I just got the hand sanitizer, but you know, everything else is usually always in the in whatever bag I'm carrying, whether it's in something like this or not, which it hasn't been because I just got this makeup pouch. So I am trying to organize my purse. I'm trying to be a grown up, okay? Um, the next thing that's in my bag is my Gucci headband, only because it's cold outside right now. And I don't do cold. I also don't like wearing hats for real. So I feel like this was a good in between to keep my ears warm. This thing is huge, it's thick, it's made out of wool. 
um i paid like 400 dollars for it this is in one of my luxury unboxing videos i did mention so yes i still use this i put it in my purse like this this was a really a really good investment for cold weather like no no cap now granted you can get like any headband or any pair of earmuffs or whatever to achieve literally the same thing but i wanted the gucci one so i got it um the next thing i have in here is a pair of fashion nova what is that a piece of fluff next thing i have here is a pair of fashion nova shades that i have never worn i bought these for homecoming and put them in my purse and that was the end of that and they have just been traveling from bag to bag but this is what they look like they're like kind of dirty they're not really scratched up which is amazing but they're just a pair of shades never worn them ever just been out here squinching in the sunlight um and it does say that it have uv 400 protection i wouldn't know but yeah i got these from fashion nova i think i paid like ten dollars for them i can't even tell you what the name of these are but they're really cute though right i just have never worn them okay so the next thing i have is my brazilian bump cream this is amazing 10 out of 10 you know you can get these from sephora or um i think you can get these in ulta too um amazon like whatever i got mine in sephora this little one i'm actually going to go back and get like the whole set because this has always smelled amazing to me i just could not justify paying the price to getting it and then i paid the price because i could one day and uh have been rocking with this ever since super moisturizing i'm pretty sure there's like tons of videos on youtube about how good this is it does come in two different scents i don't know what scent this is all i know is that it's the orangey yellow one and i'm swearing by this forever it's one of my favorite lotions um like it just this is this is it okay it is worth the price <laughs> it's worth the price the next thing I have here is another bottle of lotion. Uh, this is Moonlight Pad. Y'all remember when Moonlight Pad first came out at Walmart? Y'all remember them days? Yeah. So this is the 24 Hour Moisture Ultra Shea Butter Body Cream by Bath & Body Works. I took this from my mama. I don't really use this. I was using this when I was working late night and I needed some lotion because I'd be ashy. I would just put my shorts on and go. And that's just what it was. I used to keep this in my locker. And so... The reason it's in my purse is because the last time I brought lotion to a club when I was bartending, I left it in there and then the club ended up shutting down. So technically my lotion is still behind the bar at this other place. Well, it should be. It's probably not anymore because it's back open. But yeah, like I was mad that my other lotion got locked up. <laughs> I was mad that my other lotion got locked up at my old job. So I put it in my purse or my locker or whatever, but this one has been in here since my last, last job closed, so I probably should return. It's not that much lotion in here. Like, it's this is literally car lotion that I just put in my bag one day because I keep lotion in the car, right? Um, Another thing I'm not too proud to show y'all is just my glasses. They are not in a case. These are Versace frames. Um, my prescription is pretty intense. I've had these since 2019. I've done a very good job. I only pull these out when I absolutely need them because they are so scuffed up and I just refuse to go get the lenses replaced, mainly because I cannot get these in my prescription anymore because I have an eye disease and they won't... Um, let me have like the same glasses or get contacts now <laughs> which is really like the only reason i have these is because i can't wear contacts anymore because they won't give them to me even though there has been no issues with contacts up until now but yeah so these are um my handy dandy versace frames and they're actually really cute and i thought that i lost technically i did lose these but when i did lose them I was very emotional because I was like, dang, I've had these since 2019. Like, I'm emotional that I can't find my glasses. But, y'all, if y'all know anything about me, I do not have the best track record with keeping glasses. Like, I don't. It's the absolute worst. <laughs> so, I'm very proud that I still have those frames, even though I don't have a case for them anymore or anything. Only because the case broke. So, it's not that I don't have a case. The case just broke, okay? And I'm looking around because... I used to keep the case nearby, but I think I finally threw it away because I was just like, 
it's not gonna turn out the way I want to. My nose is running, y'all. Y'all know how it is when I wear makeup. <clears throat> The next thing I have are my AirPods. These are my original AirPods set. They are super freaking dirty. They've had um, hair dye on them and everything. But these are my AirPods that I have managed to keep. I did buy another set of AirPods. And then I like almost immediately lost them. And then while I was moving out of my room into my apartment, I found both pairs. Oh! I found both pair of my original AirPods and they still worked. So, and they have been lost for like almost like half a year, but I have not bought another pair of AirPods. Unlike a lot of other people have bought multiple pairs of AirPods. So I think I've done a great job. Okay. My wig is y'all. We almost done. I'm finna get, we finna get there. So this is a portable LED light mirror okay the light is back here you just press it and it comes on like that and it changes a couple um tones from a cool tone to a warm tone to just plain white light and it comes with a i have it in here a charger the little hair it comes with a charger so i keep these in my purse because i travel and I don't like doing my makeup in hotels because like the lighting is never what I need it to be. Um, which is probably a reason why I've been like Airbnb crazy lately because if I'm in somebody's house, the lighting is just better, but the hotel lighting sucks. So I got this um, while I was in DC because I needed a good mirror with good light. So these stay in the purse. I have flown with this they they don't be checking for stuff like this so if you want one and i got it at like tj maxx or marshall's i don't remember but it's 20 bucks so i highly recommend that you go pick it up the next thing i have is another hand sanitizer pen it does say all corn state university on it please forgive me y'all um but i got this when i was doing voter registration at all corn they were just handing out freebies and it's really cute and convenient and this one is more like alcohol based i mean they're all alcohol based but this one's like just straight like alcohol in a spray pan um so i keep this in here with me just like as a backup for hand sanitizer because it's still a pandemic outside a another tampon that actually needs to go in here Boop. and we're almost done y'all i have some all corn lip chat that also came with the pen i'm gonna put that in my thing as well i have two dollars and then i have this lonely two halves of a five dollar bill that need to be taped back together okay i don't think i can tape it back together now oh yes i can they it needs to be taped back together but i have this five dollar bill so that's seven dollars <laughs> um and then i have a whole bunch of pins i have a whole bunch of pins in here they don't have a case or anything they're just in here um the reason i have so many pins is because i'm always writing things down or i always need to write things down because of my job and i also have a whole bunch of business cards in here they're all wrong um <laughs> when i give my business cards out to people i'm immediately like okay so it's wrong because nothing on here is right except for the name and the email address and the um social medias but i keep a whole bunch of here in my purse now because people be asking for business cards in real life and i didn't think that, that was a thing um when i was younger i also have somebody else's business card in here this is beat by brandy she's a makeup artist hey girl i met her for the first time um a few days ago it was a few days ago probably november um i met her for the first time in november while we were shooting for a podcast so there's that and then i also had my travel kids dramamine in here they're just chewable tablets i keep them in my purse because i don't like flying i get motion sickness i have a whole bunch of change in here i have a sewing needle in here that actually needs to come out um one hair tie that i keep in my pocket and i have these pink tweezers for eyelash emergencies so I'm actually gonna put these in here because that's where they should go. Um, pink tweezers and my lip shed. 
and that's everything in my purse y'all that's it like she is empty now okay because that's everything i keep inside of her okay and i also um even though i do go back and forth between this bag and a couple other bags i also keep this bag hung up so that's how i store it because i know there have been questions about like how do i store my bags or how do i store my designer things i hang my purses up um but i do have like a closet full of dust bags so um if my bags are not hung up they're in like actual storage in my dust bags so that's I don't know i just wanted to throw that out there <laughs> but that's everything omg i know y'all are cringing at me just throwing my glasses back in here just throwing this in here throwing my my broke money in here i have a whole bunch of change in here as well that i didn't show y'all but it's changed y'all don't want to see it and business cards and lotion that should not be in here and boom that's everything that is in this bag okay <laughs> um so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed that video i am planning on getting a purse organizer like the kind of insert um i know they sell them on amazon for like 25 bucks so i do plan on actually getting a purse organizer and organizing my bag like a grown-up okay just give me some time okay um but other than that that's it thank you for watching my video i hope to see y'all in the next one this is your second reminder blah, this is your second reminder to like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when i post videos on this channel also follow me on all forms of social media so that we can stay connected and talk and that's pretty much it i will see you guys in the next one bye